90s animated X-Men series season 4 episode 13 Family Ties Thoughts spoilers for the show leading up to and including this episode and yeah uh, in the description box the top link will allow you to donate to the SAG after strikers please do so and then there are a bunch of links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike and let's dive in so yeah you know this I guess this is the second time we see on the show Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch since we already met X Factor in an earlier episode and yeah so the 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 man who they thought was their father reveals that you know they are not genetically related and yeah you know the 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 episode, you know, if you've read the comics, you probably already know that Magneto is their father. I appreciate that the episode builds to that revelation. I don't think it would have... It wouldn't have held the same weight if it was divulged here at the start. I really appreciate that they actually have Bova, which just, yeah, really, really... This show is never afraid to dive into comic book silliness. And, yeah, so Magneto makes his way into, you know, Xavier's quarters to, or, yeah, whatever, to, to talk to him. And reveals that he tortured Wolverine just so that he could talk to Xavier by himself. Which, Xavier takes really well. Like, I... You know, he, he clicks the button, he sees Wolverine, like, being tortured with electricity, and he's like, well, you still have a flair for the dramatic. Just very, very, yeah. I love trouble, which, you know, personally, as much fun as that film is, I think I prefer it when, like, there's problems with it of some kind. I don't know. What can I say? I love, I love Trouble Trouble. And, yeah, they actually use the High Evolutionary, or Herb, as I believe he's also known as in the comics, and the Newman. And, yeah, Wolverine even says this is like the island of Dr. Moreau. I quite appreciate... I honestly... I was about to make this joke, and then the episode made it for me. You know, the... Um, Magneto's two... The, the, the twins say, you know, we're here to get revenge for one who has fallen in your path to, to Magneto. And Magneto's like, you're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> Yeah. The worm turns and it's packing an Uzi. And I appreciate, you know, Wolverine is uh, such a man of principle that even when it's Magneto, he does not like seeing someone, you know, um, just get jumped like that. You know, he wants it to be a fair fight. I guess the electricity torture early in this episode is the closest we would ever get on this show, since it's a kid's show, to that time where Magneto removed the adamantium from Wolverine's body. That's, yeah, it's a, it's a neat hint towards that. You know, the, the two don't really get along in any incarnation that I'm aware of. And, you know, so, so yeah, Magneto and the twins are captured by Herb, and, you know, he's like, dude, one question at a time, yeah, he's, he's, Magneto apparently has a real, real, you know, yeah, he has a, he has a penchant for that. Okay, um, taking those questions in order, no and Spain. And... Herb turns the Wolverine into a werewolf. The werewolverine 
if you will and I love it so much it was kind of weird that then like he flies off and Wolverine just becomes normal again but I mean they they definitely they they couldn't really make it a th you know it would it would they didn't they didn't want to make it an ongoing thing that that Wolverine either was or at least could turn into a a werewolf now and you know yeah you know beast marvels at a, you know this uh, this world and these people maintained solely by a single man imagine what he could do if he were married and I think that is everything for this episode yeah really appreciate how much it just dives in to the comic book goodness just so many such ridiculous concepts here absolutely love it like Wolverine being a werewolf was completely gratuitous it was you know someone wanted him to be a werewolf and maybe it's also I forget if this story is from the comics certainly by the 90s the you know the twins knew that their father was Magneto maybe it was a story from several decades past Herb goes back a while like the others do but but just yeah you know someone really wanted Wolverine to be a werewolf he, he's not a werewolf for very much of the episode and it's undone very easily but yeah it's cool it's it's really fun and I quite appreciate Beast you know noting the they're not these are neither Beast nor man much like I have been you know said to be and that might be about it I guess it's because they wanted the like the writers wanted for the X-Men to be overwhelmed that's why it's not the entire team because it's like I mean Magneto said he's worried there's a trap why are you only sending a couple of people instead of the entire you know why not I guess okay I guess the reason they didn't alert X-Factor is they don't completely trust them and they thought that X-Factor was part yeah that works they thought X Factor was part of because the twins were involved and I like the detail that when um, when Quicksilver falls from high up he has to like tornado to to land without getting really badly hurt you know like it, running like back and forth is not gonna stop you from falling down hard but like if you can turn yourself into a tornado you know this is actually one of the first things they tell you in like you know safety training for for you know if you fall out of a plane and you don't have a parachute see if you can make yourself a tornado I think that is absolutely everything right right I appreciate the the you know Magneto, who sometimes seems just like impenetrable, completely impossible to reason with, you know, he does appreciate, you know, yeah, the, the twins blame him for the death of their mother, and that's not something that, you know, he can't undo that, and he's also not like... He's not making excuses. He explains the situation and then he says, I understand if you can't forgive me, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah, really appreciate that. Yeah, that is... Right, when... One thing, when, when Magneto said there is no way, nowhere on this planet that he can hide from me, you know, I thought, are they going to, like, is he going into space? Because that's like, you know, you could see how he might do that. Uh, yeah, that is everything that I want to talk about for this episode. So, yeah.
catch you again tomorrow for another two episodes, Make Mine Marvel.